Okay, so this is take two. I am up in the canopy of cloud forest tree number four. And as you can see, right ahead of me, there is a howler monkey, which is one of the study species for my project. So there's one up on that high branch there. And there are two more kind of hiding in the branches here. Might be a little too difficult to see, but sometimes this is what happens when you're in the canopy. For the most part, they've just minded their own business and not been bothered by me. But this is what the view is like up in the canopy. You can see a ridge line far ahead of me. Lots of trees, of course. Let me turn around this way. Way out that way is the ocean, but you can't see it well from here. Just the mountains and all the trees. And this right here is the station. So here you have the camera, which is what takes pictures. It has motion sensors. So when something moves in front of it, it snaps a photo. This is a kestrel, which takes microclimate data, like the temperature, relative humidity, dew point, and heat stress index. And this right here, see the red light blinking? This is the audio moth. It is currently recording as I'm speaking. Um, and it records the soundscape of the forest. So if a howler's sitting on a branch that I can't see, like over there, but it calls, I can still detect it with this audio moth. So it's set to record 10 minutes of every hour uh, between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. when the monkeys are a bit more active. The other species I'm studying is the uh, Ecuadorian white-fronted capuchin, but it's not here right now, so I can't show you what it looks like. But yeah, this is our station. We have a PVC mount to keep it on the tree, and straps that have held up very well through extreme weather. This station right here has been up since December, and it wasn't last checked until January. So yeah, it's holding up very well. Once again, this is what the canopy looks like. I am currently about 24 meters up in the air. So to give you an idea, way down there is the ground. Yeah, it's a quick little tour of the canopy and uh, the setup we use to detect monkeys. Along with that, we're also taking some habitat data like the canopy cover, vertical obstruction, DBH of the tree, and the connectivity of the tree in order to help um, inform us of what habitat is, what parts of the habitat are most important for these monkeys to be present and hopefully help improve um, management decisions that are made for these two species. So that is all I have for you right now and I will sign off and hope this took.